Elizan, how are you? Hi, very good afternoon. Good afternoon. Mm. We got something really interesting again. Yes. Something that you've been requesting. A lot of people have been requesting what to do. Mm. And what are we doing today here? Oh. Octopus again. Okay. Mm -hmm. We have a... So this one, about the size, is uh, like they are 2.6 pounds? 2.06 pounds. 2.06 pounds, okay. Uh, just about, just under $15 a pound, mm. just around $31 for this piece. Expensive, huh? Yeah. Very so very this expensive. one today we got, but uh, seems to be already kind of tenderized and uh, uh, they took off the sticky stuff already. So same as like last time. So I'm just going to take off the mouse and the eye. And what about the inside of the head? I'm just gonna take off this stuff, you know. Okay. So then I'm gonna start boiling. So we're gonna do several stuff today with uh, this taco. So first I'm gonna do uh, take all these stuff, and uh, first I'm gonna boiling uh, for first five minutes. Then I'm gonna take in out the two feet. So that's going to be another recipe. And the rest of that, I'm gonna cook another one and a half hour. Okay. To make it more soft. Then. I'm gonna make something else. Okay. Yeah. Very okay. good. So let's do that. They're gonna take an eye out. Look, this side is already taken out. Somebody taken out already the other side. Someone took out the other eye? <laughs> yeah, I see. Look at this. I, I was a cut on this side, right? Yeah. Other side doesn't have it. Okay. Okay, so anyway, and uh, the, the mouse. Should go back and complain. Some <laughs> to her eye. We don't have an eye. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and another thing is uh, between legs. This one. I'm gonna yeah. Gonna slice up now, why do you do leg. this? I, I mean, I have an idea why, but why? Why, why do you I do this? Yeah. Because when I when I put it in hot, hot, hot water, right? I want to make this one nicely to go like this. So, uh, the carving, you know. Right, it's going to curve so That's up. why, all the way until the end, to so make okay. a carving. I was asking, what is this called? In the last time. What is this called? I don't know, that's like the web. <laughs> tentacle web. That's what they one? Think. Yeah, like a web. Like a, like a deep thing. Yeah, you know? like a web. I don't know. I don't know if there's a specific <laughs> name. Yeah. Please uh, <laughs> put it down comment under, yeah, if you guys under know, this video. Comment below, please. Thank uh, you so my much. question is uh, what is exactly called in English between yeah. the leg, th this stuff? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. All right. So, first, I'm going to put a uh, fast taco for five minutes. So, this water, today I have a dash kobu and a little bit of salt and, and soy sauce in, in it already. Okay. And sake. Okay. First one. One. You can see the legs coming this way. Yeah, it's curling up already. Right? Okay. One, two, three. Right? And I put in everything. What do you do with the one, two, three step? Is it? Yeah, because uh, if you put in everything, it, uh, maybe it might be like that, okay. you know, make it nicely to, uh, you, can, you can see now, nice way to curving, right? Okay. So I'm just going to keep this one for five minutes. Then after I'm gonna take it out the two feet, cut off, and then left of that, I wanna uh, keep boiling one hour, 30 minutes. Now what about what you add in here? You said soy sauce, you said salt, and also? Uh, dash kobu. Dash kobu. Yeah, that's making, uh, actually, I wanna do, a, I wanna have a boiling process. I wanna put more like flavor in it. Is there a specific measurement for the amount? Uh, for this amount of the water, uh, about dash kobu, I, I think this much is the dash kobu I put it in. Okay. This much the size. And the salt, uh, maybe one teaspoon. Okay. And the soy sauce is like, uh, I put the two ounces. About two ounces of soy sauce? Like okay. Yeah. And sake, you said sake. Sake just the two ounces, same way. Two ounces also. Yeah. Okay. That's like this. All right. So let's uh, wait five minutes. Okay, after five minutes, the first one ready. So I'm gonna take it out from the oh, hot water once. And then I'm gonna quick taking out the uh, two piece. Okay, 
I'm gonna I'm gonna do with this two piece of the legs and then rest of that I'm gonna put it back and keep another almost hour and a half okay to keep avoiding of this nice. one so I'm gonna use this one for uh, uh, octopus sunomono the sunomono which means uh, with a vinaigrette the octopus so <clears throat> first I'm gonna make uh, amazu the sweet vinegar okay yeah it's similar as like a uh, sushi vinegar so here is a uh, uh, rice vinegar, eight tons already, I calculate already. And then salt and sugar, this is the main ingredient for the amazu. But today I'm gonna add a little bit of use, uh, use sauce after that. Okay. So first, uh, here's a measurement already, eight tons rice vinegar here. And the uh, six uh, uh, spoon of the uh, sugar. One, two, three, four. Five, uh, six, over the uh, this one, one tablespoon. This one, this one, yeah. quarter. Uh, quarter teaspoon of salt. Two spoon. Two of these. Two of these. Okay, so one. half a teaspoon of yeah, like that. salt. That's it, and mix well. You can you can make more, then you can keep it in the cooler. You mix it till it's dissolved, right? Not yes, all. yes. You can do it like this, okay. or you just cover up. Then you can shake. It. Okay. Either way. Okay. So just like that. Then just keep it on the side. So this is a amazu. It's very, very basic the way to make amazu. Okay. So, but today, again, I'm gonna put in the yuzu sauce later. So, of course, the main ingredient is octopus right here. But uh, before, also, I'm gonna add the cube, slice of the cucumber. Okay, let's do this one. So, I'm gonna use uh, maybe half of that. Maybe half enough. Cut into the half. And I'm going to cut in half today, but uh, of course you can do all the way, cut this way too. So, but a uh, safety reason, I recommend the cutting in half. Okay. It's way too, too big for you guys, you know? Okay. So just make it a little bit smaller. It's more, more uh, and, and also... just sliced? Or yeah, just sliced. particular then, design? Right, and also stay very okay. stable, right? Yeah. So round one, you're going to need a little more attention and yeah. technique. That the round shape is not going to be stable, right? So, I recommend it. Can it have like that? Then, slice. By the way, Hiro, mm -hmm. I saw on Instagram one of those mm. ads. They were selling a special knife, mm. and they took mm. our video, like two different videos of you cutting cucumber and also oh. onions. Oh, uh, <laughs> you know, I see the Instagram lately. Uh, one of the advertisement of the knife company, which is uh, selling the Guto knife. Yeah, but uh, two parts from our very first video, uh, cutting exercise. I was cutting. One is uh, cutting the cucumber with uh, the dip things, you know? You're right. And the other one is, made, I think, uh, onion. It was yeah. an onion. Yeah. So if you guys see this, it's not <laughs> Hero's Knife. They're trying to use yeah, false that, advertisement. That, yeah. They should stop doing that. They shouldn't even ask us for permission to use a video. But obviously, they didn't. Those guys, bunch of scammers. Uh, oh, yeah. They're, Liars they're and scammers good. is what they are. Yeah. Call them out for it. Mm -hmm. Okay, Hero, what's the next step? Okay, so the next step, uh, these things. Okay. And. Uh, I'm gonna keep it in the bowl, container like that. And then put a little bit of salt. Put a little bit of salt. And then smash it. I'm gonna wash. A 
couple times. Okay, here is a washed cucumber, and yep. here it just explained to me that the salt, when you add it in here, softens up the cucumber. Just remember that exercise you did with a snake, remember? <laughs> right. Once you add salt to it, the whole thing really mm, tenderizes yeah. it. If I cut in, I usually cut in very, very thinner, right? So like this one, like this. So it's ready. I, I just squeeze it. Yeah. It's ready to use it. But uh, uh, actually not too many people really cut. <laughs> so sometimes getting thicker. Yeah. Right? So if you put the salt, and then you can- Makes it soft. Uh, making cucumber shape it. Small, uh, softer. Mm -hmm. And also put a little flavor too. That's true. So both, you know, Okay. this works. Take all the water out. Then first I'll set up to a uh, dish like that. Octopus and a slice. And I can yeah. see it just perfectly boiled. It looks so tender. Mm. Good and I see how you're cutting. You see you're going back and forth. It's creating some ridges. So that's to help just to help chew it, right? Right, right. You make it easier, so right. you're just going the back back and forth. Yeah, kind of how they call it, like a, a little wave, you know? Yeah. Like a wave in a little bit. And also, I do also a little bit uh, in here. One, two, three, like that. Okay, just the heel of the knife. One, two, three. Just help tenderize it a little mm. more. One, two, three. Okay. Or three or four. This is a, this process I do with the same as like a nigiri sushi too. Yeah. I do the same way. Okay, like that. Okay, this is good. Then I'm just gonna put these things on the nice way to on the cucumber, and this three, maybe three, three, six, so maybe too much, a little bit too much. Oh, Never too much, oh. you can put it all. Too much. Okay, <laughs> design wise, you know. Yeah. And uh, maybe this is maybe like that. All right. Then put the mazu over it. Maybe this much, okay. And today I just gonna add a little bit of use on the from the top with a little flavor, just a little bit. And the uh, sesame seeds, like that. That's it. This is a sunomono. Sunomono. That looks beautiful mm -hmm. here. Let me just. Oh, taco, 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 taco. You can call it taco. Su. Taco soup. Yeah, it's a taco. You know, Mexican taco. Yeah. Tacos. <laughs> taco soup. That's Mexican. This is taco soup. Okay. It's Mexican. Yeah. So, this one you can do with the uh, uh, Alaskan king leg, uh, any type of the, uh, uh, most of the shellfish, and, and some of the fish also. Of course, uh, imitation crab also. Yeah. That's called uh, sunomono. And, uh, uh, kanisu, I have to say that this one, because a lot of people confuse the kanisu and the naruto maki. Uh, if you go to Japanese restaurant, they call kanisu, uh, which you will see the uh, uh, slice of cucumber, and most of the places do uh, with the uh, imitation crab with the uh, masago, or uh, maybe avocado, or could be there with a the tuna or salmon instead, and then, then roll it up, yeah. and a cut, and a pond around. Right. That's they call the kanisu. It's actually naruto maki. And the kanisu, basically what it is, is uh, this one with the crop. Oh, okay. That's a kanisu. That's what it is. This is takosu. Mm. And that one's kanisu. So with kai, kai. naruto maki, kanisu, I don't know who started calling about <laughs> the kanisu, but uh, it's that, not, not really. Uh, basically kanisu is a uh, crab meat with a, uh, like a, uh, uh, sweet vinegar for yeah. ponzu, like a, some kind of vinegar. So kani su kani is mean of course crab. Su sunomono is a vinegar. Okay. So that's how we call. Very nice. Octopus.
Thank also, you so much. Thank you very much. Okay, if you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up, comment below, share it. Don't forget to yeah. subscribe. Tell us if you tried this at home. It's just quite simple the way I see it. Just gotta find this octopus. Mm. Thank see you. See you next time. Bye bye. Okay, Hiro san. Hey, tasting Are we ready good. Hot. For this beautiful dish. Mm. Okay, enjoy. Hey. Mm. Mm. Good. How's the octopus? It's only five minutes, but it's pretty tender. I, I like this texture. Mm -hmm. mm. But if you like more uh, softer, you can cook more. Okay. Cook more longer. Mm. Actually, we enjoy those kind of little chewy texture. Yeah. Like, actually. What do you get from like conch? Mm. Squid, calamari, mm. well, not calamari, but squid. Which people, a lot of people actually here complain about chewy. But uh, those chewiness actually we enjoy mm -hmm. for like a texture. Mm. That's why we just cook like this. To me, actually, perfect uh, cooking timing, you know. Yeah. You don't see any, of course, not, you don't see the raw. No, right? it's cooked perfect, yeah. Mm. Get some in cucumber. And also this amazu flavor to me is perfect. It's a very light f uh, mm -hmm. flavor, but um, uh, many, many restaurants actually <laughs> complain, people complain about no taste. No, it's very light. You know, I actually like, like it, yeah. So that's why a lot of places actually using the ponzu. Ponzu, instead right. Instead of amazu. Okay. That's I see. Yeah, I like it because it's light with a cucumber. It's mm. great, great taste. Mm. So but anyway, this is the basic, so you can change it. You can make it more stronger, uh, making you, you, you want to more sweeter, the mm -hmm. vinegar. So or you can change it. Mm -hmm. This is just for the example. So Good stuff. Always, you know. Mm -hmm. So I just make, you know, everything the example. So you don't need to follow exactly what I'm doing. You can change it a little bit. Yeah. More, more strong flavor, or octopus, curry, more thinner, or more thicker, all the way you want. Now they don't... If they can't find yuzu, can they use like lemon juice? Uh, lemon is okay, or lemon could be lime is okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yuzu is very, very special um, flavor. So, yeah. No, like other, you know? That's true. Mm. Well, thank you so much yeah, again. Thank you very much. See you bye -bye. next episode. Okay.